Mr. Baffert here with another video, this time on multiplying decimals. It's a common fact that when people start multiplying decimals, they fall into some misconceptions and can sometimes find it really difficult to get the right answer, even on relatively straightforward two digit by two digit decimals. So we're going to look into that today. So we've got two questions on there. We've got uh, 3.5 times 2.5 on the screen. We're going to look at that one for a start. Now, what you can do, you can just do a 3.5 times 2.5 in column multiplication. My advice is if you're going to do column multiplication, is you highlight where the decimal place is. We can see we've got two digits behind the decimal place. And we're going to multiply out just as if they were whole numbers. So we're going to do 35 multiplied by 25 instead. So 5 times 5 gives me 25. 5 carry the 2. 5 times 3 is 15. Add the 2 on. It's going to give me 17. Remember we need that placeholder because we're now times in by the tens column. 2 times 5 is 10. 0 carry the 1. And then 2 times 3 is 6. Add the 1 gives me 7. So that's my sum complete. We just need to add this column up now. 5 and 0 is 5. 7 and 0 is 7. And 1 and 7 gives me 8. So my answer will be 875. If this was 35 multiplied by 25. Now going back to where we started. Remember we had two decimal places. So we're going to look at our answer. And we're going to put those decimal places back in. So there's my first decimal place and my second decimal place. And we just need to put the decimal point in front of those two decimal places. So my answer being 8.75. That method will work providing you remember those decimal places. Okay, It's probably the simplest way of doing that if you're confident at using column multiplication. If you still find that difficult, you could use what's called the lattice method. Something I've been using with quite a few people, and they, they do find it really easy. Okay, Once you get used to actually drawing the grid out, again, all you're doing is times in a single digit by a single digit. You can see we're putting this on the top and the right hand side of this grid. Okay, We're not going to use all the grids on this, we're only going to need these first four grids. Now the key method with this is all you're doing is you're going to times the 2 by the 5. 2 times 5 gives me 10. Whenever you're going to put the numbers into the boxes, remember the top box, top diagonal box, top triangle here, is for the tens. And the bottom triangle, in each case, is for the units. So 2 times 5 is 10, so 1 10 and zero units. Looking at the next one, two times three is six, zero tens, six units. Five times five is 25, two tens, five units. And five times three is 15, one ten, five units. Once we've got that multiplication complete and we've done all four boxes and all four times by each other, we're gonna add diagonally down each row like this okay now if we need to carry over into the next column we're just going to write that digit in the next diagonal that we come to so this first one there's only five in it so we're going to put the five down there zero plus two plus five gives me seven i'm going to give my seven there one plus six plus one is going to give me eight okay so put that 8 down the bottom there. Let's just rub it out, that first one. Okay, so we've got our number at the bottom here, 875. Now remember, that's if it was 35 times 25, it would be 875. Now the real benefit of this method is it tells you exactly where the decimal point goes. If we find the first decimal point at the top here, 
and we bring it down. Follow that line down. And then we follow the line across where those two points meet, straight down, straight across. It meets at that intersection. We're going to then follow the diagonal line until we get to our answer. And that's where my decimal point is going to be. So again, my answer is going to be 8.75. Now, whichever way you decide to do this, whichever way works for you, stick with it. Some people will find this method easier. Some people will find it a little bit more confusing. Let's look at the next one. 3.21 times 4.6. So let's write it in. 3.21, 4.6. Okay. And remember again, we're just going to multiply it out. 4 times 1 is 4. 0 tens, 4 units. 4 times 2 is 8. 0 tens, 8 units. And 4 times 3 is 12. 1 ten. 2 units. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. And I say again, the benefit of this is you're only ever times in one digit by one digit numbers. So if you can do your times tables, you've got this nailed. Remember, adding diagonally, this diagonal is going to give me 6. 4 plus 0 plus 2 is going to give me 6. 0 plus 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 8 is 17. So this time I'm going to put my 7, but I'm going to have to carry a 1 into the next column. So 0 plus 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. That's going to give me 4. And there's just 1 at the top. So this time my number is going to start at the top column here, which is 1. And it's going to be 1, 4, 7, 6, 6. One four seven six six. That's my answer. All I need to do now is pop in where the decimal point is going to go. So again, starting up here with this decimal, we're going to bring it down. Starting on the left hand side, we're going to bring that across until they meet. And then we're going to come diagonally into my answer. So it points exactly where my decimal point is going to go which is 14.766, 14.766. If we just check into our answer to make sure we're correct, you can see we've got one, two, three decimal places, and in my answer, I've got one, two, three decimal places. Hope this was helpful. Remember to like and subscribe, and if you want any tips on any topics in maths, drop me a note in the comments and I'll see if I can put one up for you. Thanks for watching.